you know, all over the country, many people are very upset over all of the money that is flowing to these illegals that are in the country. Well, there's no shortage of anger in Chicago, and I can't say I blame them, you know? So let's get into it. Chicago, they are outraged over all of this money going to migrants that's being paid out to them, and they want reparations on the table, and I don't blame them. So they are reviving calls for reparations for an annual exemption from property taxes after Mayor Brandon Johnson approved $9,000 housing payouts to illegals from the U.S.-Mexico border. The mayor's action led to outrage in the Black community due to concerns of the incoming wave that would eventually price them out of their own neighborhoods. So um, the majority of Chicagoans have been up in arms over the mayor's recent benevolence to asylum seekers while black residents have become outraged after helping to elect him to office last fall. So they said right now, Mayor Johnson is being blasted for $750 a month payments to incoming migrants that is intended to help cover their rent and other living expenses. So although Johnson did recently rebuff an additional $300 million in funding to ease the crisis. Yeah, I mean, that's all we're really seeing is them just doing everything they can for these migrants. So they're claiming that the Black community had long demanded similar public funding, but never received anything. Although, you know, they said it's been decades of subsidized housings for uh, Black residents. They are vowing to put reparations back on the table. Yeah, you seem to have money for everyone else, so you should have money for reparations. Claiming that uh, Chicagoans were increasingly moving away from the area due to rising county and city property taxes. You know, we should not have to pay any taxes. And our forefathers built this nation. We should be exempt from any taxes in this country as far as I'm concerned. All right. <clears throat> the injustice that have been done to us as Black Americans over the years, from slavery to Jim Crow, the lynching, the redlining, numerous amounts of things, including this a disproportionate incarceration for marijuana offenses. Yeah, and they're still doing that. They're still throwing our people in there in droves over marijuana. Justify the needs for reparations. So, wow, y'all. And, and that is true. That is true. And that was said by Howard Ray, who is an activist in Chicago, and he's the founder of RERAN. Wow. But no, he didn't lie. That's for sure. So uh, they're using our taxes to demise our community. This is what he told Chicago's Morning Answer as he reintroduced plans for the Reconstruction Era Reparations Act, NOW initiative, or RERAN. So um, he's aiming to eliminate $6,000 a year property taxes exclusively for Black households. 
They're using our taxes to support and advocate for the illegal immigrants. And in the meantime, we're getting pushed out. The racial controversy in Chicago reflects a broader trend across the U.S., with states such as Texas shipping migrants north, putting a strain on major cities like Chicago as the federal government struggles to seal, you know, uh, you know, more security for the border, which I don't believe they're ever going to do. And we sure ain't going to see it under Biden, that's for sure. The issue was a significant concern for President Joe Biden, especially with voters heading to the ballot this November. So if he does something, y'all, it's just for the election only. He's not doing it out of the goodness of his heart or it's the right thing to do. It's because he wants to get reelected. But... <clears throat> New York City and Denver have also been inundated with elected leaders calling on Biden to declare a national emergency, which would free up federal dollars to help mitigate the problem. I think it's at that point politically unsustainable for the Biden administration to maintain this unlimited flow into what's essentially a welfare state uh, a welfare state network of cities like New York, Denver, and Chicago. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, Simon Hankinson, a senior research fellow from the Heritage Fund, this is what he said. So they said Chicago officials were desperate for a solution as countless migrants remained stranded while sleeping on floors of police stations and O'Hare Airport. So according to some estimates, more than 35,000 migrants have been sent to Chicago since 2022, most of them uh, from Texas which has been ground zero for the border crisis since Biden took office three years ago. Meanwhile, 4,327 illegals departed Chicago, state officials said, representing a 12% of the total amount of migrants sent to the city in the past year and a half. Texas government will put illegals on a plane and, you know, tell them Chicago is a great place to come, which it is. But you're saying that, you know, this is what Chicago is going to do for you. And then they get here and they can see that what was told to them in Texas was not accurate. Oh, OK. All right. So. We see what's going on in Texas. You know, Greg Abbott is fighting like hell, fighting the federal government, defying the Supreme Court orders, and he said he's doing what he has to do to secure Texas. Meanwhile, only $800 million from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA, has been designated to deal with the crisis on a national level which has been widely criticized as inadequate because the affected cities were blindsided as lawmakers in border states began busing the migrants north. So, I mean, look, Biden and them created this problem. Lucky I'm not in office. I drop them all off at his place. You want them here, then you deal with them. But I do agree. There's no reason when you see what they're giving all of these illegals, there's no reason why reparations can't be given out. But the only thing left for you to believe is the government, the whole entire government is racist. That's why they will give to the migrants who have done nothing in this country, has not paid taxes, did not do anything 
um, as far as helping the economy. You just came across the border. You didn't do none of them things. And not to mention, you hear so many of them saying they didn't come here to work. They came here to take. And that's exactly what they're doing. So, yes, I agree. Chicago Black residents should get reparations along with all of us nationwide that are descendants of slaves. But, you know, the best thing to do is expose them. Keep exposing them over and over and over. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.